So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the second tabernacle services, where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end, as per Yeshayahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the Aurun feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Hamashiach laid waste from many centuries. Reading from Yeshayahu the prophet, it's important reading this particular prophet because though he was murdered, obviously he had very many understandings of the future of the world and also he had very particular understandings of the time of the restoration period. So then reading from Gala or Revelation, what does it state regarding then the time of the restoration period and what the nations must line up themselves with the trade of the time of the end? Now then as it was explained before many times, China is obviously leading the world trade-wise and not because it was the desire of China of doing so but because there was a higher understanding and a higher being that was involved with it many centuries ago. So then, speaking from Daniel's point of view what truly can we gather as far as, as the trade? Is it truly important of having a specific banking system that incorporates not only the centralized section of the money or the economy, but also including the virtual system making it a network flexible and what are then the latest news from China regarding then the belt or then one belt one road and also the refurbishment of the Silk Road now then there is very important news regarding then China's belt and road members increases to 69. So then Daniel is explaining very precisely what's coming then from the East based from the teachings that were given many centuries ago and these teachings are being refurbished. Now the 23rd chapter of Yeshayahu explains then these particular kingdoms being ashamed of what they have done in the past during these last thousand years. What they have done, what they have done wrong. And now with these important technology age or computer age where then not only banking but banking and transactions and trade are becoming unified by a single system related with the system of the East so it's not only fragmentary of some countries doing some countries not doing it is truly worldwide so as China then is leading this particular time of the trade of the end, what then the other nations can expect as far as, as the transitional time? And what then these nations are joining themselves, they are joining also the system of China. And what then as far as, as the other nations there were once very influential. Now there are some important aspects. 
of the scripture because it's explaining a re-strengthening of a weakened system. Now then, there are sections of this particular layer that relates with other prophets. Not only a prophet has the entire scope of answers. Yeshia had a very important bulk understanding of lots of situations in the future and then the other prophets were simply an amplification of those but what then the nations can expect since China is obviously expanding and is investing in many countries and the investments are very big and then the freighter train from China the United Kingdom so then the belt is extremely important during this time of the restoration period because it's already obviously sending very important information that the trade only has a plan and a plan only so then, when nations they do not have a clear understanding of what they have as far as, as flexible network taxation, then the sovereign borders, they simply do not exist. Because during this time of this technology era, the understanding of sovereign borders can only become part of a nation when then the trade online is obviously within the borders of their own country now the problem is as with computers as with the signals from space what's coming in the future has no regard for sovereignty and the borders because the flexible network is given many kinds of choices as far as, as what kind of a trade people must select now since the governments are not coming up with a very important and decisive way of organizing the central bank with a decentralized system is making a flexible network out of these what are they expecting when then China launches its very important quantum signal from the space now that was many times before it explained that China is coming up with its own signal and they are already able of sending 10 minutes of data from the space and the earth and no nation can tap in this information now then it doesn't have to go very far to understand that the system that they have simply you must become part of it in order to understand the benefits now then China is increasing every day and its trade is obviously become more and more influential now then what are the options of this weakened Western system now I must study the scripture and understand what it means and understand the importance of various important places dealing with the rare materials so then we understand the economy and the importance of strengthening the economy now then other nations they won't become stronger as China is now then they can become flexible in adapting and they can even grow in a new system 
but they cannot develop a system of their own that would compete with leadership of China. Now this is a very important point because we are talking of a system that goes beyond the borders of the control of a nation. Now, the Holy Instructions, the Tanakh, the Torah, the Prophets, the Nevin, they were very clear in many sections of the scripture, though for many centuries didn't make much sense. But as the time went on, now I have this particular sect of scriptures and they explain very detailed explanations as far as as way the system is developing. So next time I'm going to evaluate this more from the enlightenment of Daniel and Gola or Revelation. So then there is a second transition that comes from the first transition of trade and these are combining so then the time of the autumn feast then is coming and then these couple of transitions shows the path until it reaches the scripture related with the autumn feast so please stay tuned much more coming up